Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about how to apply for a Walmart seller account. The whole application process step by step and I'm super excited because this was a very requested video on our Facebook group which by the way if you're not a part of it yet you should definitely join. I'm going to leave the link in the description below but yes so it's no secret that Walmart has been trying to keep up with Amazon and they have been bringing in a lot of third-party sellers just like you and me to their online marketplace and even though the demand is lower than um, Amazon at least right now so is the competition so I would highly recommend that you consider Walmart marketplace for you to expand your brand but before we start the application process let's see what you actually going to need in order to apply the first thing you're going to need is that you need to have a US business tax ID so as of the recording of this video, Walmart is not accepting applications if your business is established outside of the United States. If you do not have a US tax ID number, you cannot apply right now for uh, to sell on Walmart Marketplace. Then you're going to need the documentation in order to support all of your business information. You're going to need a W-9 or W-8, which is pretty standard if you're getting paid within the United States. Then uh, you're also going to need an EIN verification letter. So when you apply and you receive your EIN number, you're going to be receiving a letter from the IRS with the, your official number. You need to keep that letter and scan it and have that letter to upload during your, your, during your application process. You're also going to need an address or place of physical operations. They mean, for example, a warehouse or, or something like that, but you could be using your home, especially if you are going to be shipping out of your home, for example. You're also going to need a US business address that could end up being the same address as your physical operations, or it could be the address that you used to register your business in the US. They're also going to be asking you what is your plan for integration of your product catalog. You're going to see that you have a few options. You can manually add product by product. You can use a solution provider that they have several options for you to choose from. So you just need to know at the time of the application which method you're going to go with. You're also going to need to tell them what is the primary pro product categories. Um, the catalog size, so how many products you're planning on listing on Walmart mar Marketplace, as well as the condition, if it's going to be new or used, refurbished. And lastly, you're also going to need to tell them that you have full rights to sell the product. So obviously, if you're a private label seller, you do have full rights to sell the product, just like we've been talking about here on the channel. But if you're selling other brands, you need to make sure you have full rights to sell that brand and you might even be contacted by Walmart later on after your application process to prove that you have full rights. And I also wanted to touch on a couple of things that you should probably have before you start your application to sell on Walmart Marketplace. These are not included on the list provided by Walmart, the list that we just went through, but one of them is required and the other one is highly recommended for you to have in order to increase the chances of you actually getting approved. So the first one is to have a website. This one did not used to be a required field, but right now it is, and you cannot use a website belonging to another sales channel. For example, you cannot use the storefront URL of your Amazon account or eBay or whatever other sales channel it is. You actually need to provide a website of your brand, like your own website. So I would highly recommend that you dedicate sometime even to put together a simple website using Wix or Shopify, something even if it's very standard that will increase the likelihood of you getting approved and show Walmart that you actually, your brand is recognized, your products are recognized outside of third-party sales channels. And then the other thing that it's highly recommended is a Dunn's number. And basically what that is, it's like your business credit. It shows, it tells Walmart how well your, your business is standing in the eyes of the whole credit community in the US. And you can easily apply for that number. You just have to be, to go to this website right here. I have it open to show you guys. It's um, from Dunn and Bradstreet and you can apply right over here, Dunn's number. And you, you usually be able to get a number within two weeks. 
So you might want to do that first before you start your application process, because once you start applying, you need to finish the whole application within the same session. It usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes to complete everything, but you're not able to save and then go back to it. So make sure you have everything that we just mentioned here before you start your application process. And once you do, you'll be ready to start applying for your Walmart seller account. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the step-by-step -step application. You're going to start by going to this link right here, marketplace.walmart.com. I'm also going to leave the link in the description below. And once you open, you're going to see the button on the right hand corner that you can click that says request to sell. From there, it's going to state again that you only have 10 to 15 minutes. They, they're going to suggest that you use Google Chrome and they're going to show you the whole list of things that we just went through um, that you're going to need in order to finish the application. When you're ready, just go ahead and click on start application. Then you just have to fill out your name, last name, email address, your job title, and then you have to click here to verify the reCAPTCHA. Let me go ahead and move myself out of the way here. All right, once you verify CAPTCHA, then you can keep scrolling down and then they're going to be requesting the documents that we talked about. So if you are a US citizen, you will be filling out the W-9 form and if you're an international seller, but you have um, a company established in the US, like we talked about it before, then you would be filling out a W-8. And you can just easily go on Google and put W-9 form or W-8 form, and you're gonna be able to fill out one. Then you just have to go ahead and put all of the information about your business, the legal, legal company name, doing business as. So for example, if our legal name is Sumner Hobart LLC, but on our domain in our store, if we're doing business as, for example, Hobart's products, LLC or Hobart's products, that's where you will be putting doing business as, or if you don't have that discrepancy, just go ahead and repeat the same name. Then you have to fill out the tax ID number, as we talked about, the EIN number, the year of foundation, and as we talked about it, the DUNS number, you can see it's not a requested field, but it is highly recommended. Then you just have to come here and upload your forms, the W-9 or W-8, as well as the EIN letter. Once they've been uploaded, just keep scrolling down. And then here you just have to put the address of your company, the one that you use to register with and get your EIN number, as well as your phone number. You're definitely going to need that, especially because Walmart might actually be contacting you after you submit your application in order to get any further information if they need in order to approve you. So definitely put a phone number that they can reach you at and as well as your website. And if you, right now this is just a screenshot, but you see if you hover over the, the little I icon, you see that they do not allow you to use another website like a, your your Amazon storefront or anything like that. It needs to be your own website. And then you have to say if you do any business, if you have any offices or warehouses outside of the US. So for us was a no, however, answer it truthfully, however, it applies to your case. And then go ahead and click next. Then it's going to ask if you're transporting goods from another country. It is not asking if you're sourcing products from another country. For example, we do source products from China, but what they're asking is actually once a customer makes an, places an order on Walmart, where are you going to be um, transporting the product from? So for us, we're bringing it from within the US. And if I'm not mistaken, they actually right now are not allowing for sellers to be shipping products from outside of the country, which a lot of people who do drop shipping do. So this, as of right now, is not allowed with Walmart. Then um, you go ahead and you can put, if you sell within any of these categories, and if you don't, you just leave them blank. And if you scroll down, now they're gonna ask about your business, how well you're doing, how many products you have, and all that. So. On the first box, you're going to put your average online revenue, and that is monthly, and it, it has to be in US dollars. So go ahead and put that on the top box. Then you, what is your highest performing category? You can just um, click on the drop down menu and you just select the category that best fit um, your situation, and then the catalog size. 
meaning how many SKUs. So for example, if you're selling t-shirts and you have um, like t-shirts in five different colors, so you have five SKUs. And so just put together all of the SKUs that you're planning on listing on Walmart Marketplace and then put here. And then answer truthfully the next three questions as it applies to your case, uh, the percentage of SKUs that are refurbished, percentage of SKUs that do not have valid UPC codes, and percentage of SKUs that are used. So for us, the answer was 0% for every single one of these. And just so you know, you're not going to be able to list any products on Walmart as of right now without a valid UPC code. So honestly, if you have some products that do not have UPC codes, I just would not include those in the count for your catalog size and then go ahead and just put 0%. All right, then you scroll down a little bit further and now you're going to be able to share if you're selling any other marketplaces. So I would highly recommend that you include that. I've heard from other people that this actually may increase the chances of you getting approved to sell on Walmart. And it also shows Walmart that you are a competitive seller. You are a big brand, recognized brand in other sales channels. So you can just click on the drop down menu here and then select from the options. Um, and then you can go ahead and put your marketplace seller name. So put the name exactly as it appears on the, the sales channel. So for us, if we are using the name, the seller name Hobart products with uppercase H and uppercase P, then we would go ahead and type exactly as it's shown on Amazon and then copy our storefront URL and place it right here. And then it's asking here, as we talked about it before, what is the integration method that you prefer? If you go with using solution providers, then you can go ahead and click the menu that it's going to show up here and select one of the options, one of their partners for Walmart. Or if you want to manually input your products, or if you're using another API, then you would select this option right here. I would highly recommend that you actually use a partner solution provider. It's not a anything official, but I've also heard that that increases the chances of you getting approved. And what we use and what we would honestly recommend is using Cellbrite. There are a lot of options very similar to it, but we use Cellbrite. And what we did was actually we used their trial period. And after we created our listings, we just went ahead and canceled. And what they do is they actually duplicate listings from other sales channels and then create a new sales channel. So this really helps when you're expanding your brand across uh, multiple sales channels. So we got our listings from Amazon and we just created drafts on Walmart and just put all of the required information to for the Walmart marketplace. And then those listings were very easily created. So I'm going to leave the link of Cellbrite as well in the description below if you also want to use it. Once you've chosen your integration method, just go ahead and click next. Then they're going to be asking what are the different shipping methods that you're able to use when fulfilling orders. So definitely, especially if you're working with a 3PL or a fulfillment company, you have to make sure you have to ask them or go on their website and see what are the shipping methods that they use. For us, it was all of these. You can just also click other and then input. And then you're going to be asked to put the warehouse address. And as I said before, if you're shipping out of your home, you just put your home address, but you need to put in a warehouse location. Then scroll down and then the last thing they're going to ask is why you would be a good fit for Walmart Marketplace. And here, honestly, you can you can type anything you want. There's no right or wrong answer. For us, we just said that we um, have very unique products, products that not only do really well in other sales channels, but also very unique products that are not yet sold on Walmart Marketplace. And we think it would really add value to the marketplace and to the customers. So just type something that assures Walmart that you would be bringing value to the platform and value to the customers and Walmart Marketplace users. And after you're done that, you just need to go ahead and click review. And then you're going to be able to review all of the information that you, in, that you inputted before. And if you need to make any changes, you're able to edit. 
And then after you reviewed everything, you're going to be able to click on this button right here that says submit form. And then this pop-up is going to appear saying thank you and that they're going to be in contact with you either asking for additional information about your business or to tell you that you have been approved for your Walmart seller account. And when they do that, they're going to send you an email like this one telling you what you need to do next. So you just have to click on this link, register as a seller and you're going to be taking here your email and username is going to be the email that you use in your application. You just have to create a password. Next, you're going to scroll down and choose some security questions and click on create account. Then you're going to be taken through the series of pages just for you to agree to their terms and services. Then the next page is going to be about your company. They're going to be asking about managers. So who manage the finances, who manages the product catalog for us, we're just the two, two people business. I just put my name and a unique email address. Um, not the one that you use to register for all of those options. So I just put Ali Hobart and then just a different email than the one that you used on your application for all of the options, but just fill yours according to your own situation. And then next it's going to ask a little bit more about tax information. And then after that, the next tab is all about payments and what kind of payments you want to accept as a seller. And you're going to have two options. We went with a hyper wallet. It's a partner of Walmart. So you just have to click select and you're going to receive an email for you to do all of the registration. So we received this email and you just have to click on activate then you're going to receive the activation code and then click on continue. And then you're going to be brought back to this page and you just have to put your activation code and then go ahead and continue to next step. And then the last thing you're going to need to do in order to register as a seller is create your shipping template. So how long it's going to be the transit time, how long is the handling time from when an order gets placed to when you're able to ship it. So just, go through and answer truthfully because Walmart definitely wants you to be on time with your shipments. It could be detrimental to your account. If you don't follow through, don't just put the best option possible and then don't actually follow through once you receive orders. So you're going to be able to do the standard shipping template, or if you're eligible for the two day shipping and they're going to tell you that, they have partnerships with companies just like Deliver, for example, where you may send products to that company and they'll be able to fulfill the orders within that two day period. So you can analyze it for yourself if that's an option for you. For us, we already have business with another fulfillment company. We use ShipBob. So if you're also interested in using them, we're going to leave the link in the description below. And that's all that you need in order to apply for your Walmart seller account. After that, you're going to be receiving emails from Walmart marketplace, telling you the next steps for you to actually start selling. So adding your products and all that. And if you're using Sellbrite, as I said, it's, it's very easy. You just have to connect the, your, your Walmart account to Sellbrite, and then those could be automatically created. And that's it. This is how you apply and hopefully get approved for your Walmart seller account. And I hope this video was helpful. Do not forget to leave it a like and subscribe to the channel because there's already so much amazing content here in the channel and there's a lot more coming very, very soon. So hit the notification bell. And if you have any questions at all, be sure to leave those in the comments below. We're always here trying to answer as many questions as we can and help you guys as much as possible. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys in future videos.